Welcome back everyone. A live look at our party on the plaza on this Thursday. It is North Texas Giving Day. Go to North Texas Giving day.org for more on how you can give already more than $8 million donated to some 2,700 charities and among them canine companions for independence. Uh, so I got uh, oh wait oh 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 drop Kermit, my pen there. Get. What am I going to do? Kermit, get. Yes. Sit. Oh. oh. Thank you, Carmen. Now okay. all you need is a Lysol wipe for your pen. <laughs> Let me tell you, I will take her drool any day. Um, but Carmen is actually a part of a really special program here in North Texas. Yes, and our Chris Sadegi had an opportunity to show us how dogs like Carmen are changing lives. A chew toy will get her going. But they still get time to be a puppy. A treat will get her listening. Down. And wherever Corey Coons goes. Good girl. You believe will follow. So I bring her to work with me every single day. We teach her about 30 to 35 different commands. All this playing, all this learning. Shake. All this love, and he knows he'll have to give her up. It's extremely difficult to do something like that. They become a part of your family. Get. Basket. Because Jubilee's meant for something more. Canine Companions trains uh, dogs for people with disabilities. Teaching them to do the things some humans aren't able. They can do laundry, they can um, tug the sheets off the bed. If you can't bend down, Yay. you can't turn on the lights, you need something to drink, they have your back. And they're also thinking about that utility bill. <laughs> and they learn to do it all. She's our distraction cat with a stranger in the room. We make sure that they are very well trained around cats, other dogs, other prey animals like squirrels. But before the advanced training, Jubilee, sit. They're all like Jubilee, learning sit, the basics in right a foster home. It helps her learn how to behave around other people. Until she turns 18 months old and it's time to say goodbye, but for good reason. We're doing something that's going to help somebody in their daily task for a long time. <laughs> Turning man's best friend and the man's side biggest side help. In Irving, Chris Sadegi, News 8 Daybreak. Uh, so Sarah McCracken joining us this morning. Canines, uh, uh, <laughs> I cannot talk right now. <laughs> Let's just get to what we're gonna talk about. <laughs> and we're talking about Carmen, and we mentioned that you're a part of North Texas Giving Day, um, Canine Companions, yes. uh, there I got it right. And this is important for people to give back because why? Absolutely, so Canine Companions for Independence does provide assistance dogs to people with physical disabilities completely free of charge. Mm. And we're able to do that through some of our largest fundraisers, which is North Texas Giving Day and Dog Fest, our local signature event on September 29th. And I'm gonna be emceeing that, so that's why I should know what the organization <laughs> is called. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. And mm -hmm. so do you call on families as well to foster these dogs while they're in training? Absolutely, it's local puppy raisers who take these puppies in at eight weeks old and raise them till they're about 18 months before they start their professional training with us and they give them up to such mm. a great cause but that must be so emotional for them because you grow attached right it is it's really hard but you know a lot of puppy raisers say they knew this dog was meant for a higher yeah, purpose a and higher it's purpose. so easy to give them up knowing what they're gonna go on we so look great. forward to dog fest it's coming up I can't wait to be a part of it thank you so much Sarah and yes. Carmen for getting the pin it's not even wet. <laughs> and even licking our dirty floor <laughs> <Not even wet anymore. laughs>